What's going on everybody? It's Cam here at All Things Automotive and today we have a 2019 Ram 1500 Classic and this one is a Bighorn, I believe. So we'll do a little walk around here. So it, it says 19. Um, everybody knows and the new body style started in 19. That's the reason why these are called Classics, which you can actually see on the badging here on the side. That's Classic right there. So, But still, same as what like an 18 was. Um, just may have a few of the newer amenities that the other ones might not have. So. Just a little walk around though, powered by the 5.7 liter Hemi, five spoke big horn wheels, the chrome wheels, always looking dope. Um, so the tires are fairly new on this one, actually maybe not completely new, but plenty of life left on. Nice, I forget what this, they call this a weird color, but it's, it's a, a very good name, like Inferno something red, I don't know, it's weird. But same thing on this one, 20 inch chrome wheels, brand new brakes and rentals like on the rear. Does have the backup sensors just built into the bumper. Always loved how Ram did the uh, little crinkle around uh, dual exhaust in the rear. Always looks cool. Does have your hitch on the back, four and seven way plugs there as well. No bed liner in this one. Said it is a big horn. Gas on the left side. It is a crew cab, so plenty of extra room in this one. Now they do call this the diesel gray color for the interior. Pretty much the standard color on Rams. Nice floor mat because they're a transmission tunnel. So we'll just go ahead and hop inside and show you all the features on the inside. Let's we'll start here with the left side. Um, the door has all your controls for your windows, locks, and mirrors. Driver's seat is electronic. So we'll go ahead and just put that the whole way back so I have plenty of room to show you everything on the inside. It does have a 40-20-40 split from bench seat. So you can flip down the center console if you prefer. Go ahead and lay up the dash here for you. There you can go. It says big horn as soon as you start it. Start here at the left side of the dash has your headlight controls. Um does have an automatic setting. Oh, somebody had a fan blown. Here we go. So like I was saying, the left side of the controls has somebody had the radio playing now, geez. Um, headlight controls here, you can have it on auto mode if you prefer, and then it does have um, a cargo light right there, and then has your dimmer scroll here for your lights, which you go the whole way to the right, actually lights it up. So there we go. It says it has a check engine light on, that's just because I didn't start the truck, so just ignore that. There you can see 16,000 miles, 444 at the time of this video. On the dash, the thing I do like about the big horns though is that they have the big center screen there in the middle, makes it a lot easier for displays. Um, the way to use that and take through things is the arrows here, and you can actually go through whatever you prefer. Um, left side here has your wiper controls as well as your turn signals, um, as well as up here on the left side of the steering wheel is your controls for your hands-free talking. Right side has your cruise control settings as well as it does your gear down and gear up button, um, which is actually can do if you. They're good for if you're pulling a trailer or something if you prefer to downshift so you don't have to use your actual brakes um shifter knob everybody complains about this is right here in the middle right above your four-wheel drive selector it does have a 12 volt power plug right there as well um no trailer brakes on this one it does have a tow haul switch though um as well as the traction control button um pretty easy to get a brake controller in these though it's from what i know um, I do think, yeah, I think you have to pull this part up here and there's a couple screws here and this pops out and then you have to plug everything in there. But that is at the customer's preference. So all kinds of crazy stuff on the dash. It does have a climbing button. We'll turn it on just so you can see everything. Let me back the fan off a little bit. So you can see the number actually moves with the fan control. It's all touch screen as well. Um, for whatever you want to put it on is up to you. Um, and also it can all be controlled down here as well. Um, you can turn the screen completely off if you want. Just turn, touch it to turn it back on. It does have the backup cam in this one. Um, let's go to media. All your radio sourcing, AM, FM, XM, and then you can use your source selector if you want to connect your phone via Bluetooth, auxiliary, or one of the USB ports um, in the vehicle as well. So uh, another 12 volt plug in here. 12 volt down there. They like said they're everywhere in this thing. Now this drawer here is just a little pop out nice place to put a phone if you want to keep away from it while you're driving plenty of extra storage down there center console has your two usbs here as well as your auxiliary port and a couple coin trays and then a couple cup holders up front as well as i said this does flip up here as well so 
Rams had two glove boxes, one up top, one down below. Has all your factory books in there, as well as our safety checklist sheet that we do here. Power rear slider on this one. See right there, opens up and closes. Illuminated visors on the driver's side. Uh, so as illuminated visor on the passenger side. So I think that's about it for the inside, guys. We're going to do a final walk around here. Show you if there's any dings or anything on the outside. We try to be as transparent as, pair, as, transparent as possible and upfront about everything um, to let you know about all the great things about a vehicle as well as any minor flaws it may have. So we'll just do a little, little peek see here. Take a peek across the front bumper. Everything looks good up front. Don't see any marks really across the hood? A couple little stone chips across the. Oh no, it's not even stone chips. Everything looks good that way. Good. Down the side. Take a look here. No markings or anything. What's that? A little. The, the handle? Yeah. I'm not sure where they got it. So. Down the side, no marks. Take a look across the roof. That looks good. No door dings or anything. So we got a minor little mark there in the door handle. Down the bedside. A few little marks here in the back. That's too bad. Driver's side, passenger side, I mean. It's got fuzzies on everything. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions about this ramp, please feel free to, get, feel free to give us a call at 717 485 4224. Sales extension is 1502. If you don't have time to give us a call, you can always look us up on the web at allthingsautomotive.com and request information about this truck as well as any other vehicle we have directly through our website. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day.